In this video, I'm going to show you how to embed a YouTube subscribe button on your WordPress website. I'll demonstrate two different methods, one where we use a plugin and one without using a plugin. Let's get started with the first method. With this one, we'll be using the Smash Balloon YouTube Feed Pro plugin. The plugin lets you embed fast and responsive YouTube feeds like this on your WordPress website in just a matter of minutes. You can purchase the plugin from smashballoon.com and once purchased, you can find your download link and license key for the plugin inside your Smash Balloon account. Download YouTube Feed Pro and head over to your WordPress dashboard. You can install YouTube Feed Pro just like any other WordPress plugin. Simply upload the zip file, install and activate the plugin, and then activate your license key to create your first YouTube feed along with the subscribe button. Creating your YouTube feed is really easy too. The first thing you have to do is select your feed type. You can choose from options like creating a feed of videos from any YouTube channel, feed of videos from any YouTube playlist, a feed of videos that you favorited, and so much more below. For this video, let's select YouTube channel that's already selected for us here, so we can click on next. And then we have to enter our YouTube API key. I've already got mine ready, but if you want to learn how to create one for yourself, you can click on the video on the top right corner of your screen or follow our written guide in the description of this video. Once you have your API key, click on Add API Key, paste it here like this, and click Add. Next, you'll have to enter your channel ID or username. You can enter it here like this and click Next. And for our last step, we can select from one of these professionally designed templates for the appearance of our YouTube feed. We have options like the default, carousel, cards, list, and more below. For this video, let's go ahead with the gallery layout and click Next. And just like that, we have a live preview of our brand new YouTube feed with all the latest videos from our channel displayed in this gallery layout. And right in the middle, you might notice we have a subscribe button right under that main video. Your site visitors can go ahead and click on this button and subscribe directly to your YouTube channel. We can now go and embed this on our WordPress webpage. But before I show you how to do that, let me show you how we can customize this. On the left hand side, under the Customize tab, click on Feed Layout. Here you'll find several options to modify the layout of your YouTube feed. You can see currently under layout, we have the gallery layout selected, which displays your latest video in a larger thumbnail, followed by the rest of the videos on your channel below. Alternatively, you can go with the grid layout, which displays your videos in rows and columns like this. Next, we have the list layout, which displays your videos in a single column list. And lastly, we have the carousel layout, which is a layout where you can swipe through your videos just like this. Let's continue with the gallery layout for this video. And if I look down below, I can also choose how many columns I want to display on desktop and mobile. If you want to modify this, simply change the number to the number of columns you want to display. And straight away, you can see that change made inside your live preview on the right hand side. I'm going to change that back to three. And if I look down below, you can even specify how many videos you want to show initially in your feed. Once again, you can simply change this by modifying the number here. Once you're happy with the layout of your YouTube feed, go and click on save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to modify the color palette of your YouTube feed, go into color scheme on the left hand side. By default, you can see that it's set to inherit from theme. This means that your YouTube feed will be created to automatically match the design of your website. Alternatively, you can select a light theme, a dark theme, or even a custom theme where you can select the exact colors you want for your feed, just like this. Once you're happy with the color scheme for your YouTube feed, go and click on save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to modify the subscribe bar underneath that first video, you can go into videos on the left hand side under the customize tab and click on video player experience. You can see currently we have the subscribe link enabled, meaning that it will display subscribe button below any video on your feed. If you want to disable this, all you have to do is untoggle it here like this. But because we're trying to create a subscribe button for your WordPress website, we're going to leave that enabled. And once again, if you made any changes, go and click on save on the top right corner. And at the bottom of your feed, you'll notice that we have a load more and subscribe button. Both of these buttons are fully customizable too. To modify them, go into the respective menu on the left hand side. For example, let's go into the subscribe button. And inside you can modify the button text, the button color, the hover state, and the button text color as well. And if you want to disable the button entirely, you can go and untoggle it up here like this. And if you make any changes, don't forget to hit save on the top right corner. Now that you know how to create and customize your YouTube feed, let's go ahead and embed it onto our WordPress webpage. To do this, go and click on embed on the top right corner, pop your dedicated shortcode, then click on add to a page. Next, select the page you want to add your feed to, like this, and click on add. Next, on your WordPress webpage, we have two different options to embed your YouTube feed. First option is by using a shortcode block and pasting that shortcode we copied earlier like this. Or if you're using block editor, you can use a dedicated YouTube feed block like this. With this option, you'll see a live preview of your brand new YouTube feed directly inside your web page, along with the YouTube subscribe button. We can now click on update and check out what it looks like on the live web page. And here we are on our live website and right in the middle, you can see our brand new YouTube feed along with the subscribe button as well. All the latest videos from our YouTube channel are displayed in this feed and this gallery layout that we selected. At the bottom, if we click on the load more button, it will load even more videos directly inside the feed on our WordPress webpage. And at the top inside our subscribe bar, you can see the channel profile picture, channel name, 
and number of subscribers too beside the subscribe button. If we click on subscribe, that will take us directly into our YouTube channel with a prompt appearing on screen asking the visitor if they'd like to subscribe to your channel. So you now know how to embed a YouTube subscribe button on your website using the Smash Balloon YouTube Feed Pro plugin. If you want to check it out, you can visit smashballoon.com and I'll make sure to leave a link for it in the description of this video. Now let me demonstrate how you can embed a YouTube subscribe button without using a plugin. For this method, we'll be using the configure button tool by YouTube. If you want to try this method, you can find the link for it in the description of this video as well. Once you arrive on this page, all you have to do is enter your channel ID here, just like this. Next, beside layout, we can modify the layout of our button. You can see a preview on the bottom here, and this is what the default layout looks like. But if we change this into the full layout, you can see that the layout has changed to include the channel profile picture, channel name, and the subscribe button as well. Let's continue with this layout. And next, beside theme, you can see currently it's set to the default theme, but if we drop it down, we can also change it to a dark theme, which looks like this. Let's continue with the default theme. And lastly, beside subscriber count, it's currently showing the subscribers inside this little box here. But if we want to change this, we can drop it down like this, and we can choose to hide the subscriber count as well. And that will look like something like this. But for this video, let's continue with the subscriber count shown inside the button. And our button is now ready to be embedded on our webpage. If you scroll down below, you can find the code to embed your button. Copy your code like this and head to the page where you want to embed your YouTube subscribe button. Now on your WordPress webpage, you'll have to add a custom HTML block. To do this, click on the plus icon there and type in custom HTML. And here's the block we want to use. Simply click on it like this. And now you can paste that code we copied earlier inside this box here. If we click on preview, you can see a preview of what your new YouTube subscribe button looks like. And now let's click on update and check out what it looks like on the live webpage. And here we are inside our live web page once again and you can see our brand new youtube subscribe button right in the middle and you might notice that by default it's quite small but this does include your youtube channel profile picture and your channel name as well and if you click on it it will take you directly into your youtube channel but as you might have noticed there's also no prompt to ask the site visitor if they'd like to subscribe to your channel but with that said you now know how to embed a youtube subscribe button onto your wordpress web page both by using a plugin and without using one once again, if you'd like to check out the Smash Balloon YouTube Feed Pro plugin, you can click on the link in the description of this video or visit smashballoon.com. Alternatively, if you want to create a YouTube subscribe button without using a plugin, you can find a link for the YouTube Configure Button tool inside the description as well. If you have any questions about what I covered in this video, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you run into any technical issues, please contact our awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.